Welcome back to Data Place. This is episode 45 of Sky Factory 3. So last episode, we were playing around with um, with more chickens and we were obviously coming up with an automatic obsidian generator, which we have in front of us. Um, it was completed last episode. If you don't know what's going on here, what the mechanical user is doing and all that crazy stuff, you need to watch last episode. I keep repeating myself because I do get private messages going, Data, what did you do in this episode? How did you make that work again? Well, you need to watch the previous episode so you're not so confused on what's blooming going on. So, yeah. So, anyway, I've got to just hook up the under conduit here to my two brand new chickens which I've just placed in there so this will obviously increase the flow rate quite nicely um, into here well when they do lay we've got to pull up obviously a, a trash bin or a, some sort of bin to suck out the normal eggs and p chicken poop and feathers and all that good stuff and just keep the lava eggs now she is running we have six obsidian um, Five of those were fully automatic. The fifth, the, the other one was us pouring a bucket of lava into the tank itself just to make sure she works. But she is running. She's running a little bit slower than I would like it to uh, because of the chickens. It's all on how, when they lay. See, a minute 35 before we get one, five minutes. So we're still a little bit off this one chicken laying here before you get to see anything. But we have an automatic obsidian generator now trust me we're gonna need this obsidian later on so it's good that we're gonna have a stockpile of obsidian in here so let's go ahead and trash these two try and keep my inventory a little clean zip on over to the chicken farm which we've been trying our hardest to get ourselves a freaking glass chicken never happens i've been breeding them like crazy yep Oh, no, we got another bloody redstone chicken, which is fine. Where's the net? I'm going to actually capture that guy. Butchuk. Oh. Got you. And he can grow up in here. There we go. So he's gr he's going to grow up, and we'll probably try another double pair, because the waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting is quite blooming ridiculous, to be honest. Googly eye piggy. Yeah. So, oh, this the, the rate of a glass chicken must be extremely low. But then again, once we got a diamond chicken, oh, you watch out. Diamond's out the freaking yazoo. Oh, oh, crikey. Still getting used to my flight. 25 seconds. I'm just waiting. I want to watch. I do. I want to watch. 20 seconds left. So, yes, flight. Oh, I love having flight. Set bonus for the win. Set bonus for the win. Um... Okay, all right, here we go. 11 seconds, hopefully he lays an egg. And we're going to see the whole thing in action. Well, hopefully. All right, all right, here we go. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Here we go. No? Yes? No? Oh, he's not going to lay a lava egg? Bah, bug, bloody bugger. Lee, that was just, just huge disappointment. Huge disappointment indeed. So he laid a normal egg. So we'll just go ahead and throw these eggs out. Well, actually, we'll take these guys over to be hatched. Those two can be hatched. These can be thrown out. Any others that are on the verge? Another minute. Ah, oh, Struth. I just wanted to watch it happen, you know? Bloody Struth, but that's okay. We'll plop you in here. You in here. You. Oh, okay. That's fine. Give me this one. Oh, a lava egg. That's what I wanted. That just drops lava. Really? Stop dropping lava eggs. The lava eggs are meant to be going into the machine. Ah, oh, squid as well. Bloody struth. All right, so what we'll do... Uh, do I have any more of these pen nesting pens? Uh, no, I don't. Bloody struth. All right, all right, we'll leave those, those things alone. All right, we're going to come over here real quick, and I'll show you also what I've been doing. Uh, so, yes, this is becoming a complicated <laughs> mess building this machine. But, guys... I have added the tool section for, um, what are they called? These things. Well, crazy, go away. These things. I've added the Superium Tool Core automated, literally. So we've got now the armor cores, and now we have the tool cores automated. And I've already made my first one right here. So we're going to go ahead, and we're literally going to take some, what's some calls from here, and we're going to make ourselves a pickaxe. I'm going to take some things from here as well actually i'm going to turn this one back on because we've got build up 
we have build up at the moment. So let's switch this one back on to go. Brrr, there we go. She's so going to start producing lots more uh, freaking thingamajigs. See, she's look, she's already she's producing. Okay, all right. Let's nick off over here and make ourselves this pickaxe of doom. Um, okay, so we need to make rods first. Is it the right rods? These things, mystical rod tool rods. Which is just basic, no problem. Should be relatively straightforward. We'll just quickly ah, don't do that. You silly fruit loop data. All right, we'll just couple of these bad boys, convert them into bloody these. All right, here we go. We need two of these, so let's do two of those. Da bum ba bum ba bum, boom. All right, we got two mystical rods now. Boom boom. What was the rest of the recipe? Oh, it's in the middle. Okay, it's in the middle. So this in the middle. This over here. And this over here. Bob's your bloomin' uncle. We have the tool of doom. Well, not really the tool of doom, but uh, we have the tool uh, that's unlimited. This guy, durability is unlimited. That is right. We have an unlimited pickaxe. So that's going to be good. I want to do the same thing for the rest of them. So shovel, obsidian, etc., etc. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so they all require this freaking superior core. The core, even the sword does. The sword can obviously have a charm of strength added to it if we really want to. But it's completely unlimited, which is what I want for our next little project. Trust me. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'll show you guys why in a minute. Um, okay, so... These guys are not breeding. They got 12 seconds on breeding. How is our lava? Sorry, zipping everywhere. These are, look at this. It's producing squids. It's producing, what's it call it? Three minutes, two minutes, seven minutes. Okay, it must have already fired off. Yeah, it must have already fired off. Yep. All right. Stroof. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, let's go breed these two little guys. Cross our fingers. For a diamond chicken, diamond chicken, diamond chicken, no, no, glass chicken, I meant. <gasps> it's a glass chicken, finally, yes, sorry, I'm, get, I'm just, come here, you little rotten bugger, oh, let's pop you in here, oh, look at this, it's a glass chicken, oh my god, hang on, we're gonna, oh, no, we've got, we've got to have a diamond chicken, I was gonna do something else, zip, and straight under here, whoa, under here, whoa, whoa, bad guy, get off my, bloody thing seeds seeds check couple of stacks of those bad boys whoop we got to clean up under there go all the way back over here oh, oh oh seeds where are you glass chicken grow 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 ha ha all right he's got 10 seconds left on him we'll lead him be okay so what was it again for this diamond chicken oh diamond chicken Bark. So glass, check, gold. All right, where was the gold chicken? We left him over here, didn't we? There he is right there. So let's drain this guy. And, oh, shivers. Sorry. Oh, shoot. I think I killed him. We'll grab the gold chicken. Push him in here. And see what we get. Glass chicken. Oh, here we go. I am not sure on how... Well, this is going to go. Come on. Cross fingers for a, for a diamond chicken right off the bat. Boom. Boom. Pop. Oh, another glass chicken. That's okay. That's okay. I knew I wasn't going to get that lucky. But we'll save that glass chicken. So we'll grab him. Pop him in there. There we go. We'll be back to breed you, you freaking rotten little buggers. It's being really resistant Really, 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 really resistant guys on making my, making this freaking thing work. Okay, so we're going to head over to the nether real quick. Have we got a chisel by any chance, like, laying around? Because I know we've used one before. A chisel, 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 okay. Well, it's not really, it is quite important, actually, so we need to, need to make a chisel. Chisel, um, diamond. Sadly, I think I used up all my diamond. We have to go over here. Whack this guy, grab a diamond. So we're getting resources back, which is good. Okay, so, pop a, there we go, got a chisel. All right, so delete, 
I want to delete the manure, not the seeds, none of that. That can go, that could go, even the eggs can go, the feathers could go. Log, log, freaking, just get rid of it all. We, we kind of busy. There, bye. Go on. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter the sun's going down, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, so let's go ahead and head off. We should, might as well just put a suction chest there and we could call it freaking Watsy Farm as well. Like, I, I'm not even kidding you. Like, legit serious. Like, seriously? Freaking crikey. Alright, let's head off to the nether real quick. Because, guys, because we're going to be starting a gold farm. A very chunky gold farm. Now, if you haven't been watching the series recently, obviously we've uh, we've managed to get out to the nether. We have fly, we, thanks to the set bonus, and um, we've discovered two fortresses on on each side. You'll probably find there's probably one over there and probably one over there. Actually, let's go over there real quick. Just zip off, not too far. We'll see if we can spot one. Just, just, just for shits and giggles. Because if there's what if we're surrounded in fortresses, no. Oh yes, bang. So, my old saying is true. Remember how I used to say a long time ago to everybody in the old Minecraft Down Under series? All you had to do is build, you know, dig in one direction when you get to the nether and you'll eventually hit a fortress. So, it looks like it's true. You just sort of dig in one direction, you'll hit one eventually. Alright, we are here at this fortress for experimentation. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go down... Down, 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 near the bottom here. We'll pop in a hole here. Just so we can sort of land there. There we go. Love this new pickaxe. Look at the durability. Not even a bun bunch in a... So we've got, obviously, the obsidian pickaxe. Now, this is why I wanted to build this. A, this is very slow, but if we hold... If we come here, you know, hold the, the button of doom... Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Ow! Freaking cheese, mate! Crikey, where did he come from? Like, would you nick off? I'm trying to do something here. There's multiple of them. Ah, oh, fine. I'm oh, fine. Just, just fine. All right. So what I want to do is we'll just oh, nuts. All right. We'll stand on a conduit. All right. Oh, are you bloody serious? Freaking nuts. We'll go out here then, like seriously, freak, jeez. Now, oh, I don't mean to make, waste this many conduit, I'm sorry. Just one for us to stand on, there we go. Okay, as I was saying, like if we hold, if we hit this, we hold our van miner, right, you know, the, the one that breaks all the blocks, hold that down, boom, look at our durability of our, we just wasted a thousand durability, ouch, and we're starving to death. A thousand durability off our um, off our freaking obsidian pickaxe in one go. Not even kidding you. So technically, that see how awesome. So we we come up here again and we do the exactly the same thing again. We hold down the button. Obsidian. We got a six thousand durability on the left hand side there. Hold down the button. Boom. Hold it down. Look at it. It just went to nothing like that pickaxe in a couple of hits will be gone yes yes i know about the food we're freaking starving to death here and oh my god we're uh, we're absolutely chockers of nether brick already that's fine that's fine so we'll go up again there we go actually we can come off the wall as long as we're off the wall and if we use our new pickaxe just like look at it just and if we had unlimited food, that would keep going. That would literally keep going. <laughs> That's how crazy it is. And durability, guys. The durability is insane. So, if we want to destroy a fortress really quickly, we can. I'm going to mark. go ahead and mark this again. So, up we go. Map. Waypoints. New. Four. Tress. Three. Alright. Mark it as red. Save. Bob's your uncle. We have another fortress to add to our collection. Okay? Okay. So that's exactly why I wanted to sort of demonstrate why I went for a durability pick like that. Like, seriously, absolutely the duck's nuts. Because, and why I got my chisel. So we're, we're going to go home real quick. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. So nothing's in that direction. We'll do that direction. No, we'll do this direction. Wait. Yep. 400 versus 400 versus 400. So they're about 400 apart. So it really doesn't bother me. Okay. So we're building our player's platform. Just remember, Pigman and Gasp and everything are going to be spawning on this sucker like no tomorrow. So when I say that this is going to be ridiculously crowded really quickly, we've got to be careful of how we go by. All right. Whoa. I love this new pickaxe. It's awesome. We've got to get ourselves a sword next. No, no, a shovel or an axe axe. Okay. We should ha We can half slab it. We can half slab it if we really, really want to, but we'll do that later on. So we got our chisel here, and I want to build chisel. I really want to build this gold farm out of either the dark blue, so we've got nether bricks blue, or we have the lava bricks as well to go along with it. Like, it's, we can make this farm look pretty sexy. So we've got our normal nether bricks and I think to be honest we're going to try with the blue lava bricks mixed in with normal nether bricks and see how that ties in with each other. Or we could go with a, a brown, no that's a brown, that's a dark lava brick. So we could go with a, a dark and a light. I don't know. So we'll chisel a bunch of that. We'll chisel the dark. I just want to see what they look, t look like together. All right. Because I, I, I don't know what I'm building this farm out of yet. I've got a rough idea how she's going to look, though. So, if I was to do... So, if I was to do the dark as the default, out by two, then sort of go with that, and then up. How would that start looking? Black and blue. I don't know. It looks really, really crispy. Really, really crispy, if you know what I mean. All right, take care of those. Ba -bum, ba -bum. All gone, all gone, no problem. We could go with a... Hmm. This is going to be a difficult choice. Um, get rid of the wrench. The wrench is bothering me. All right, what else do we got we can chisel with these? Not really much. We've got the normal nether brick. We've got the solid blue. And then we've got all these nasty colours. Ah, stroof, guys. Bloody stroof. I have no clue what to build this thing out of. And, and it should be easy. We could do the red brick. What was the red brick recipe again? This is the red brick. Red nether brick, which is leather wart and bricks make the solid red brick. To be honest, that's too much of a pain in the ass to do. So maybe I'm sticking with the stock standard brick. Okay, stock standard here. All right, we're out decent away from the portal now. Let's go ahead and create our very first platform. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wide. Hmm. Right. No, because there's no middle, so we'll have to go eleven for a middle. That is the middle, like that. Build a wand for... I'm, it feels like I'm in creative mode, but you're not in creative mode. It feels really cheaty, like I'm floating around and... Oh, struth. There's no no jetpack, no fuel. There's like... Ugh. Crikey. I don't, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. One, two... No, just one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five... Okay, and then go down by 11. That should be it. That should be a pure square now. Okay. So does anyone remember the old Build Big or Go Home series? Okay. If you're here, you can put your hand up. Comment in the description below. Remember the... In the Build Big or Go Home, the, the, the series before that, we built a, um, a sugar cane farm in the shape of an eye. All right. Well, not an eye, but it was sort of shaped like this. It sort of went up like this. Oh, well, hopefully people will start remembering it like that. And then it had a top on it like that. Oh, man, this is such a bad diagram. But, you know, I'm hoping to get people a gif of, you know, what it's like. Like that, like that. 
it's sort of shaped like that. There we go. On a, on a teeny scale, it was like that. So it's like staircase. Just picture your your miniature, right? And there's a staircase going up, and there's a staircase like a it's going up, and then there's a top level going up like a pyramid, like a pyramid. So the plan is okay. So use your imagination. The plan is to use the vector plates, I think they're called, to push them down and then push them straight towards you. So we're standing in the middle and we're seeing really their spawn pads are on the top level, not really the bottom level. The bottom level is the one that pushes it towards you. So the roof will be the spawn and so that's the plan. I don't know if you guys can picture that in your head at all and it kind of sucks if you don't. I just That means I didn't make any sense. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so, but this here, I'm thinking 10 wide, uh, only because the roof is going to be quite tall. Um, we could go wider, I suppose, like fatter. Mm, do we want to go fatter? How much spawns do we want? Man? There's lots of questions to be answered. Blummin's truth. Okay, well, I'm going to ponder on this for a little bit longer, guys. Uh, thanks for watching episode 45 of Sky Factory 3. Don't forget, if you are enjoying the content, make sure you smash those buttons. Give it a like if you like it. Dislike if you dislike. It's totally up to you. Doesn't matter. It helps the video. It doesn't matter what. And um, all right. Well, I'll catch us all later.